Hello. What I thought I'd do in this tutorial is, after doing a couple of more complicated ones, I'd go back and do something a little bit simpler, something I said I'd, uh, something I said I'd do a while ago, but I uh, didn't end up doing it. I'm going to do a conversation that involves multiple NPCs. So, for example, when you are talking to an NPC, another NPC will interject and say his little bit. So, we're going to create two NPCs for this. So, we're going to go to Actors. It will create some unique voice types for them as well. So I'll just create tutorial voice. They can be, they can both have exactly the same voice type and it won't affect it. The only reason I make unique voice types is to block them from saying any of the default dialogue. So first of all, I'm going to create an NPC who I'm going to make them look marginally distinctive so we can tell which is which. So I'm going to call this one uh, Seddon NPC 01. And this can be Seddon 4494 with a short name Seddon. And we're going to give him a unique voice type we made before, which I, I, I've forgotten what it was. What did I call? I think I called it tutorial voice. I don't know why I did that. There we go. And we'll just leave him looking default. Well, we have to make him unique as well. I'm going to leave him looking default. Now I'm going to create a new NPC, and he'll be our second speaker. So we're going to make him unique, call him Seddon NPC 2 and we'll call him, um, I guess it doesn't matter, does it? Uh, Steve Babbage, and his short name can be Steve, and we'll just give him the exact same voice type as before. Like, that doesn't matter, it's just for the purpose, it'd be a, just to block uh, any voice files from being used again. Now, we'll give him, we'll make him look marginally different. Uh, I'll change his hair colour to jet black and that won't show up in uh, in the actual editor for some reason but that will show up in the game and we'll give him some like massive scars just so we can uh, so we can really see which is which or we won't you know if it won't let me adjust that and I'll give him one of those as well Bizarre, but it won't let me increase the size. Oh well, I guess it doesn't really matter because uh, this is just for the purposes of this tutorial. But let's change his hair as well. Oh, he can be bald. Okay, why not? So, said an NPC can look, number two can look like that. That's all okay. So now we're going to create a quest for them to do their conversation in. So I'm going to go to character quest, there it is. And we're going to right click new, give it a unique ID, so Seddon tutorial quest, give it priority 45, leave all that as it is, we can hit OK. And now we search for it again, and Seddon tutorial quest, and this first part will work the same as we have with any dialogue, we're going to create two unique actor aliases, so one for each of our NPCs. So I'm just going to call this NPC01, and it's going to be a unique actor, said an NPC01, and all that is fine. So hit OK. And then we're going to create another for our second NPC, which I'm going to call NPC02. NPC02. And I'm going to direct it to unique actor, said an NPC02. OK. So... The way we're going to do this is we're going to have NPC01 be the one who does the most of the talking. So we're going to go to scene and we're going to create a new scene. So I'll just call it Seddon Tutorial Scene. And we're going to make sure we've clicked on it and click Player Dialog to get this stuff to appear. Then I'm going to right click New Actor and for now we're just going to press NPC01. And we're going to create a new greeting. So I'll just call it Seddon NPC01 Greeting. And we're going to have him say, hello, I'm Seddon. I didn't, oh, I clicked minor edit by accident. I have no idea what that does, but I'd probably get rid of it. No. I don't know where that went, that thing. I clicked minor edit. I hope that won't have an impact. I just accidentally misclicked. But uh, anyway, and now we're going to create a new phase. 
Uh, so we'll put new phase at end, and we're going to add some player dialogue here. And now again, I'm going to imagine that you've got something in mind for this, but I'm just going to do something dead general, so I'm only going to fill in one of the topics. So I'm just going to say, how are you? I forgot to add, I only put in a prompt, I forgot to put in an actual response. How are you? And he'll say, I'm good, thanks. Okay. Okay. And so now we're going to add a phase end again. And this, now we're going to add a new actor. So we're going to right click new actor. And we're going to select NPC02, which is the alias from before. And so now we've got this will show up under the bottom here. And we can do one of two things. We can either right click and put new action just dialog. Or we can right click new action NPC response dialog. Now if you just put dialog, that option will show up no matter which of the three of the four options the player chooses. But if you put NPC response dialog, it will show up with all the different colours. So then um, I can double click here and for the positive response, we can have him say, I'm good too. And okay. Okay. And so um, I'm going to have, an, for example, I'm going to edit, edit a negative response now to, to demonstrate uh, uh, sorry, demonstrate that working in game. I'm just going to have him say, fuck you, ignore. I'm then going to have him say, just put fuck you in there, ignore. And then have the NPC respond with, hey, fuck you too and then for the second NPC's dialogue which is happening in phase two we can go into the red section the negative section and say don't talk to my friend like that and then I'm going to add a new phase at end and this time I'm just going to add dialogue so that no matter which action is said, this one will eventually come up. So right click new and double click in here and put no one cares what you think, Steve. Okay, okay. And so basically what will happen now is we'll speak to our initial NPC and he'll say, hello, I'm Seddon. We can either ask him how he is, at which point he'll say, I'm good, thanks. Then our second NPC, Steve Babbage, will interrupt and say, I'm good too. And then our initial NPC will come back and say, no one cares what you think, Steve. And then because I haven't added any more phases, the game will just end. And the same thing, if I say, hey, fuck you, Steve will say, don't talk to my friend like that. And then the NPC will say, no one cares what you think, Steve. And I haven't added in any blues or yellow responses, so that won't make any difference at all. So we're going to also want to add um, a hold up for our greeting. We're going to want to add uh, a condition to make sure only NPC01 says it. said an NPC01, okay. 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 So now we're going to head over to MISC now and we'll see that greetings have showed up. And we're going to want to create a new greeting. Um, let's just don't do that. Let's do it in here. And we're going to have it be just say talk to Seddon. Okay. Okay. And we're going to condition this one to have get his ID uh, set an NPC02. O2. O2. Okay. Okay. Only this time we're going to have it be seen none and put requires player activation. So now what will happen is if you try and speak to. Um, I'll just put a requires player activation for someone as well. Always forget to do that. Now if you speak to Steve, all he will say is talk to Seddon, like he, Steve won't speak to you. And so the only time Steve will ever speak is when you say something to the first NPC. So now I'm going to j jump into the game and demonstrate that working. Okay, while I was doing the tutorial, I did forget to put the NPCs in the game, but um, again, it wasn't critical to the tutorial, so I think I can get away from missing it out. I just clicked and dragged them into the render window. And here they are just kind of hanging around. Now they don't have any AI packages, so they're not going to move anywhere. So Let's speak to him first. Hey. Talk to Seddon. Yeah, and he just won't engage me. So let's talk to Seddon. 
Hello, I'm Seddon. And now, we can say one of the two things. Uh, let's ask him how he is. Uh, how are you? And he should say, I'm fine. Oh, well, he said I'm good, but you know. And that should lead on to Steve saying, I'm good too. So there we go. And no one cares what you think, Steve. And I'll demonstrate the fuck you thing as well. Hi. Now, you'll notice that the camera isn't pointing at either of them. That isn't to do with what I've done. That's because they have no voice files. If I'd recorded voice files and lip files for them, then the camera would be pointing at them and it does that automatically without us, us having to do anything. So that is why that's happening. But you can see that he's responded correctly to what my uh, NPC has said. And there you go. As long as the NPCs are close by each other, um, this will run fine. And you can see Steve's hair colour is showing up in game as well, even though it didn't show up in the editor. I don't know why that happens. It's probably something you can edit in the INI files to fix that, like with a pale NPC bug, which has returned. Uh, so that's a bit annoying. But anyway, so hopefully that was clear and useful. Hopefully it, that um, there won't be as many problems with that because it was quite an easy tutorial. Because I know there were a few people had problems with some of the scripting getting going messed up. But hopefully that was uh, clear, hopefully that was useful. So um, thank you for watching and goodbye.